Okay, one last example, and then I'm going to let class out at least 15 minutes early. If somebody wants to see me um, in my office, we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I just want to show you rock curve. The rock curves, real, um, we always say that real applications are harder than actual just cooked problems. And the reason is because it seems like it's always a trick or always something there. And it is. So I took the log one that you had on the other version of the quiz. How do you find the AU's exact AUC under the curve for this guy? Well, those have two pieces. You guys want to come into my class? You want to take Calc A? Integration by parts? See, Ted and I knew when at a very young age we were different. We were different than our, our peers. <laughs> okay. See you, Ted. Okay, so um, what I did here, this 0.9783 is a constant. I don't really have to worry about that constant. What's the antiderivative of a constant? You have to think backwards. With the x next to it, right? Because the antiderivative of x is 1. And if I want to just capture only the constant, I would have to take whatever that constant is multiplied by x. So this is the antiderivative. Easy part done. So again, I'm doing part in pieces so that I don't have to like write a separate thing for everything. This is the part that's the animal here. This is the guy. Now I did the f of b minus f of a. I'm doing all the easy parts first. Easy part first. This is all the easy part right here. f of b minus f of a of this point 0.9783, the integral. So I took care of that. I still have this first integral to deal with. Maybe hard part should come first and easy part second. I don't know. That's where I'm at. I've got this guy to deal with. You already know. You've got a log in there. That's probably the messy part. f of v minus f of a. So remember, once the integral, the integral piece went off of this, I've already found its antiderivative. See this little line? It's telling me to do f of v minus f of a. f of b, I plugged in 1 in for x. I plugged in 0 in for x. f of b minus f of a. So you can put a little note that this is the f of b minus f of a business. that zero times anything zero, so I can drop off the zero term. And now I have that first thing to deal with. Andy? Why did I pull out that? Huh? You should, because you asked that question earlier. You asked that question earlier. Yeah. The point two zero two zero six. Why did it come out of the integral? Right. It doesn't do anything, so... <laughs> Good. So I have this um, no product in there. This is another trick problem. And the trick is to use integration by parts. And unless you've seen the trick, you won't know it. Yeah, I feel like a, a math, being a math person, a little bit is a bag of tricks. A little bit is procedure, knowing those fluently. And then it's a lot of patience. The rest of it's all patience. How long you can sit there without moving. And just do math. So I'm going to use product rule, uh, the backward product rule on this 1 times natural log x, although it doesn't look like it. I swear to you, it's a trick. Log x by itself, the antiderivative, we don't know. So um, I'm going to put it into a form where I have a formula to do something with. So um, if I let u be 1, what's du? If I let u be 1. It's zero, right? The derivative of one is zero. So I have got no nothing done with letting u be one. So my choice would have to be u equals log x and dv equals one. The reason is the derivative of log x is what? One over x. So I can do that. I know how to do that. And the integral of d uh, one is Bella. What's the integral of one? 
X. You're owning that. That's yours. Don't get it wrong anymore. You got it. So the integral of one is X. So I can integrate the dV and I can take, I can actually perform that function. That's the next step, right? To find du and to find v. <coughs> and remember the integrals in the formula is v du. What's v du? When you multiply the v and du, what do you get? One. My integral's gotten very easy now. So I told you it was a total trick. I recopied this. If you're still taking notes, I just copied the last section. Um, and I put it all down at once because you know what? You, you do get writer's cramp after a while writing these things down. So um, I plugged into the formula u times v minus the integral of v to u. I already dealt with this. So I don't have to deal with this anymore. It turns out that if I plug 1 in here and I plug 0 in here, that both of them are 0. So f of b minus f of a turns out to be 0 minus 0. I still have this guy to deal with. That's not that hard. What's the integral of 1? Antiderivative of 1. Fella. X. I was worried at first that I might get a negative answer, <laughs> but it's not. It's right. It's like a 0 0.9783 minus 0 0.2. It's around 0.7 something. So the AUC is around, it's a C in the C range. You can fill it in. It's just a number. You know what? I, I, I might. I don't want to do WebAssign because the WebAssign annoys me. So what I'll do is I'll go maybe online. There's tons of work problems online. So if you want to have the answer, the answer's there. The only thing I um, caution you on is um, looking at someone else's steps because um, people teach this differently. What I did is every time I taught anything with integration, I got feedback from the students. I took surveys and I compared different ways of how to teach it. And so what you're getting is something that's Montclair specific where students have come back and said this is the way you should do it so and it was a large majority has said that so how I taught this right now is based off of student feedback so I would stick with this because they you know why reinvent the wheel they've already told us that this is the way to do it so um, basically they said I was confused when you did it this way but I was not confused when you did it this way and so we just we kept the way that was less confusing and we developed it this way. And that that's, I gave you a lot, you know, it's, it's, we're done earlier, but I'm telling you, this is a lot. So I'll give you a pile and I'll separate that pile into two pieces. The quizable pile for Monday will be one piece. Tell you even, I'll change just some numbers and it'll be those problems. I've been doing that anyways. If you haven't noticed, when either directly pulling off of there, and then I'll give you a second piece, which is, more practice that you should be doing, right? So some of it's self-directed and some of it is not. 